Hey girl. Hey, hey. How are you? Good. Um, always a pleasure to sit down with yourself as usual. You guys. Um, no indoors this year, Des. Was that decision made because you had a busy twenty sixteen or you know, you raced almost forty times? Was that was that the thinking? Wow. When you put it into perspective like that. I think yeah, it was just literally my coach's decision. He was just like, Let's just leave indoors for a bit and just focus strictly on the outdoors and I guess that's something that I've never done before. I've at least done one or two indoor races, so to completely not do it, mm. it was okay. It just felt like a long winter, but mm. you just kind of get on with it. No other decision, really. Mm. Your season's best in both the one and the two suggests that you're ready to roll out. Yeah. Are you happy at the start of July with where you are? Yeah, at the start of July, I feel like trials has come at a good time. I'm actually quite excited to get through this weekend and then strictly focus just on more performances at the world championship so no i feel i feel like i'm ready once i get on the start line mm. i'll be ready to roll nervous about getting on the start line good nerves mm. if anything i just want to show not only myself but everyone else that what i'm made of and what i can do and just secure my spot to make that team you're still so young desiree i mean <laughs> a lot more experienced however i mean how do you feel ahead of these national championships there's a a few people out here who are gunning for you because obviously your name sits at the top of the rankings. Yeah. You know, how does the overall picture feel for you? It feels good. I felt like the other day when the under 23 teams was announced, it kind of put into perspective how young I really am because yeah. I'm just like, oh, under 23s, they're so young. But then I'm like, oh, I'm only 21 years old and I could actually still go to under 23. Right. So I just think it's more for me to just kind of relax, take my time. You know, I've obviously had a lot of experience in terms of racing at all these different places, including Diamond Leagues and obviously Rio with last year. But yeah, it just kind of makes you feel like I'm enjoying myself and the fact that I am doing quite well at, at such a young age, I just have to kind of embrace it and if that's going to be my destiny, then enjoy the ride for it. Do you, do you take note of the form of others and has anybody impressed upon you this season? Not so much, if I'm honest. If anything, I feel like the bigger picture and looking at the big guns, Elaine Thompson and stuff like that, those are the hard performances that you can't just ignore. 10-7 yeah. is a serious time, so if, yeah, so when you put 10-7 to some of the other times, it's just like, you're really looking at the wrong people if anything. You dealt with a lot last season, I mean, there were highs, there were lows, how mentally have you grown and developed in the last 12 months? Yeah, there's definitely been highs and lows, especially mm. when it comes to my trials given last year also. That was probably one of my lowest points at the season. But then I've had 12 months to kind of recoup and get myself back together. And I just feel a lot more confident and if anything, more relaxed, not to put any pressure on myself because I felt like I created pressure that wasn't even there. Right. And it's all about for me now putting things into perspective. Do I love the sport? Yes. Do I want to run fast? Yes. So go and do it. Stop letting all the other stuff on all the outside things kind of get in your way and just focus on what you enjoy and what you love. I know you have complete faith in your coach. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit about how he's prepared you for this year and the group dynamics that you find yourself in. Yeah, well, I'm based in Holland, which is always nice out in the countryside, if anything, with loads of trees and horses and donkeys all around. So it's quite nice to have the same routine in terms of eat, sleep, train, repeat. But Reina, the one thing, like, even though some performances may not be good or bad, you know by the time the World Championships comes around, you're going to get the job done regardless. And I feel like for me and other athletes that may be new into the group, that's the one thing that you can kind of rely on, that you can not only look back in 10 years or you can just look back the year before, OK, who is Reina coached and what have they done? And given Christian Taylor, Tiana Bartoletta, et cetera, it's just like, OK, you know what you're doing. So I feel like that's all I need to do. As long as I keep training hard and whatever he tells me to do in training, I'm going to do it. So I feel as though, yeah, I'm just enjoying the process with him there and just looking forward to race come World Championships. Talk about World Championships, I mean, the out outdoor gold is an obvious one, but how special would it be for you to compete at the London World Championships, given your experience at the, <laughs> at the said stadium five years ago? <laughs> And you're going to get asked this a million times. I'm going to get it out of the way now. I, it, the question never gets old because yeah. it's, it's an amazing thing that I've unique. done. Very, very unique. And I feel like I've had a few years to kind of get on the internet and kind of learn a little bit more about the history of the opening ceremony and the likes of the people that have lit in the cauldron. Right. And now to be within that mix of people that have lit the Olympic cauldron and it's just absolutely amazing. And I guess it's even more unique for me that I'm still in the sport, I'm still young. And this year, the World Championships, the big event, the big sporting athletics event is in that same stadium that I lit the cauldron. So it's like, wow, 
I get to go back, not there as a cauldron lighter, which is absolutely amazing, but to actually be there as a competitor, because that's all I've ever wanted to do. Even at that young age, I thought to myself, like, wow, I want to be here one day. I want to be able, be able to represent not only myself, but my country to the best way I can. And at the time right now, it's athletics and it's for the world championship. So I'm looking forward to it. Do you, um, do you feel like, I'm trying to think how I can put this, the chosen one? Because <laughs> so, everything about your journey is it's almost like it's meant to be happening. Do, do you get that feeling? I really, really so, do. So, so with that, and we're not being arrogant with mm -hmm. that, but it is, because it's a deep thing, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The connection, your the narrative, it all points to you being extremely successful in this walk of life. Mm. Do, you, do you feel that sometimes? I definitely feel that pretty much every day. And mm. I guess that's all part of me just slowing things down. And it's just like, no, Desiree, it's not, not going to happen in one day. Mm. It's a process and you need to kind of enjoy it and, kind of take hold of all the opportunities that are thrown at you and I guess from lighting the cauldron and running fast times it's like okay this is a good journey so far and it's just all about momentum for me now I just have to maintain a aim to get faster and better every year and that's all an athlete could ever want so in my head I just feel like Desiree you've been given so many amazing opportunities don't waste it that'll be the worst thing you know an athlete's time span or well, I'm thinking another 10 years I would hate to look back at the end of the 10 years and be like I was in put in such an amazing position and I didn't I was too scared or I shied away from this and that like I just feel like now I need to just go full on and just create my destiny tell myself what I want to do and what I need to do and just go with the flow and just enjoy it at the same time just really not to waste the opportunity that's the biggest thing Good luck with that. I know that um, you've got your own personal goals but let's say we're sitting here in four or five months time assessing the season and all of the successes that you've experienced by then. Yeah. What would some of those successes be? Well, I would obviously like to come into the interview room with a medal around my neck cool. for the four by one relay. That will be go. definitely pretty impressive. And then also to maybe be a national record holder, not only just in the relay, but whether it's in the 100 or the 200. So I feel like those will be the main things and even to come away with a personal best in both events. Yeah. So another step in forward or step forward in the right direction to being better every year because my times were great last year and I want to be faster I want to be better so I think I'll be an overall better athlete and even with more experiences of competing at the world championships good luck with it all thank you very much thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it.